Hey love, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on a ponytail by Irresistible Me. I had this for a minute and I really was not sure what to do with it because it's not particularly exact match to my hair color. I picked the chocolate color which I thought was more or less like a dark brown or medium brown so I should have went a little darker and plus it's very silky straight so I'm going to try my best to maneuver around this so excuse the way I sound I am really not feeling that great so I went ahead and washed my hair prior to this video so it looks really crazy and just curly and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flat iron it I'm going to be using the Irresistible Me Diamond um, Diamond Flat Iron today this is the one that I use like all the time on my hair on my wig hair so it gets hot super fast within seconds temperature controls inside and you can also tell from the outside you'll see like the green barrel light up so you'll see like the LED display right here this goes I think it's either 430 or 450 degrees I believe it's 450 degrees if I'm correct or 430 First things first, your extensions always come in a package like this. There are two sides. This is basically the tester side to see if this is your actual color match or if you like the texture. There will be like a sample portion in here where you can go ahead and open. Once you open this side, there is a seal which means it's non-returnable. So try to avoid opening this portion first so that way if it doesn't match here, you can go ahead and return it for a different color or your money back as well so the ponytail looks exactly like this it's really easy to put on and like I said this is the chocolate color so it's not an exact match to my hair but I think once I brush it into a style you probably won't notice it as much there is a comb in the back so basically you're just attaching this to your own natural ponytail and a ribbon to tie around it and if you want to put it in a bowl or what have you, you can do so so yes this is the actual full ponytail. I think this is like 18 inches if I can remember correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and straighten my hair. Okay ladies, so now it's time to straighten my hair out. I'm going to go ahead and part it in half. And I did allow it to air dry because I really don't like to blow dry my hair. It's just too much for me. So air drying is something simple. It takes about a couple of hours. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair out and just part it in sections. Nothing fancy when it comes to parting. I just need to section it by section. And I'm going to go ahead and take my Irresistible Me Diamond Flat Iron, which is super, super easy to use. It gets hot really, really fast. And it takes like one or two pass-throughs depending on your hair texture. So I do like to use a comb with that because that will make it a lot faster, the whole entire process a lot faster. Plus my hair will be silky, silky straight. So as you can see, my hair is a little thin. So that is the reason why I like to wear any type of hair extensions clip-ins or ponytails just to give me more volume to my hair. I'm just going to go ahead back and forth and flat iron my hair. With this actual flat iron it does not take long at all but it also depends on how much hair you have but I do believe that the process with this flat iron is a really quick. I did this I did use this on my eldest daughter's hair and she has a lot of hair. It is coarse hair and it's a lot of it and her entire flat ironing process, now mind you she is natural, it took no time. About 30 minutes she was super surprised and so was I. Normally it'll take me about an hour to an hour and a half to flat iron it. So I highly suggest getting the diamond flat iron. It's really affordable and there's also tons of coupon codes and discounts that you can get with Irresistible Me. So I'm just going to continue flat ironing my hair out. I did put it heat protectant on my hair prior to spraying it. Once my hair was washed and dampened, I did use my Cream of Nature Moroccan heat protectant. So that is why my hair has a sheen. And I'm going to go ahead and do this last piece on camera for you girls. And you guys know the rest. <laughs> just a little flat ironing. And I'm going to finish the rest off camera. And before I do that, I'm just going to brush it in. I love this brush by Eco Tools. It is like the best. Now once I've finished flat ironing my hair and straighten it out, this is another one of my favorite brushes. As you can see, it got it really straight. Like I said, this is a great flat iron. What you're going to need is some brushes, some hair glaze if you choose to, as well as another type of hair brush. I like to use kind of like a paddle brush. This, like I said, is from Eco Tools, and it's kind of a paddle and a bristle brush in one, but it does give your hair plenty of volume. You can pick this up at like your local drug stores or one of the huge box stores like Target or Walmart or Kmart. I'm going to go ahead and brush that into a ponytail. Depending on how high you want your ponytail, what your preference is, just make sure you brush it neatly. 
Now, being that my edges are thin, my hair is thin, I'm going to use my Topic Hair Building Fibers. This stuff is awesome. I use this to fill in all or any missing gaps in my hair. This is great for thin edges as well as balding spots. And you can pick this up from either Sally's Beauty Supply, Target, and it's probably other places too. But the color that I have is dark brown. You want to go ahead and brush that in. I like to use hairspray along with that because my hair does catch a lot of flyaways. So as I'm perfecting my ponytail with some Topic and hair glaze, I do spray some hairspray into to it just to kind of like harden it down a little bit so that way I can achieve a smooth finish so I am using my even New York 24 hour whole extreme uh, hair glaze which I highly recommend and a teasing brush I just like this teasing brush because it's thick and it really does give like a really great nice neat ponytail and I got this from Sally's as well so now that I have achieved the length or actually the neatness of my ponytail I'm gonna take my elastic band and I want it in the middle I really didn't want it too high and yeah, so basically that's it for doing a ponytail. Now we'll spray some more of my topic. This is a dry spray, it looks just like little tiny hair fibers, so it's nothing too fancy. And as you see, my hair is sleek, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that comb that's in this faux pony, and I'm gonna place that right above my own ponytail like so, and kinda like bend it down a little bit and start wrapping the ribbon over and over until there's no more ribbon left, and then I'm gonna tighten it at the end. This system is really good. If you don't want the ribbon to show, you can go ahead and use like a scrunchie or you can take some of the hair and tie it around. But for the video tutorial, I'm not really concerned about the actual hair tie. So I'm gonna go ahead, as you see, the hair is silky straight and I wanted it to have a little bit of body just so it'll look a lot more realistic on myself. But this is like a super long ponytail. And the color is a little bit different from my own hair. Not that noticeable, but to me it is noticeable. So what I'm going to do to make it less noticeable, y'all, is I'm going to be using my 8-in-1 Curling Wand System by Irresistible Me, which is the Sapphire System. Or the Sapphire, yeah, the Sapphire System. I love this system. It comes with eight interchangeable wands. It does come with a glove for protection. It also has a nice faux leather carrying case as well as like a little stand you can place the curling wand on while it's hot. So yeah, the bubble wand is like one of my favorites because it gives these awesome pretty beachy waves and it's just really really easy to use. So I love to use this curling wand in like a lot of my hair tutorials or my wigs because it just makes it look so full and voluptuous and plus you can just get a lot of different styles with this particular curling wand system. So if you're looking for a great curling wand system then I would highly suggest the sapphire. I do have another one which is a four in one and I used to use that religiously but this one right here is my holy grail because like I said there's so many different options to choose from. There are eight different wands, eight interchangeable wands and it just heats up really fast. So this one has become one of my favorites. So I actually love this curling wand. This is the bubble wand that I like to use a lot. I use it like on all of my hair. So what I went ahead and did is I just did the whole entire ponytail. That way it'll make it appear a lot thicker and fuller as well as it'll make it blend into my hair a lot easier. Being that the color wasn't an exact match and the hair texture is super silky next to my own texture, I wanted to kind of like make it look a little bit more coarser and fuller. So that is what I went ahead and did, which helped it out a lot. So you can't really see the color difference as well as it just looks a lot more natural opposed to it just being silky straight. This hair is super easy to curl. I love the extension clippings that I wear like all the time. Those are the only extension clippings that I wear. I have many other brands, but I like the Irresistible Me ones the best. So. Those are my favorite, but there is kind of like a flap, and I'm not really sure if that's what you want to call it, but to me it feels like a flap right about through here from where the comb starts and right here where it actually spreads the hair out and it kind of overlays on top of your own ponytail. So that way while your ponytail is underneath, it's concealing it more so it's not like flying all over the place. So, so this is like a super easy style for when it's hot out here in Arizona. I can't take the heat but for so long so I try to stay cool as much as possible and I do like to wear ponytails in the summertime. The only problem is my hair is not as thick as it used to be. So I'll post all the information below for this, this ponytail as well as the styling tools that I used and the clippings. And on that note, you can check out their website. Let me know what you think. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you girls on my next video.